Texas City man is suing the city and two of its police officers after he said they beat him excessively, leaving him badly hurt. The lawsuit stems from an incident on October 8th that was caught on camera. Brian Miller's attorney calling the actions of those officers, quote, gratuitous violence. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is live in Southeast Houston with the details of the lawsuit now. Roseanne? That's right. This man's lawyer says that his client needed extensive jaw surgery after the encounter. They filed the suit this week. He was laying on the ground, no resistance. They just started beating on him for no reason. Ed Miller says on October 8th last year, his son was injured by Texas City Police. His lawyer shared this dash cam video. And he gets out and he gives up by, you know, laying on the ground straight away because he knows the police are behind him. That's when attorney Randall Kellanen says Texas City Police Officer Richard Drix hits Brian in the head with his gun, breaking his jaw and causing a concussion. I just want to show you a picture of him with the wired shut jaw. The lawsuit names the city, Officer Drix and Sergeant B. Masick, who Brian says tased him. His neighbor, Linda Cooper, was there. It went on from 1140 to 1215. And that was because Mr. Miller walked outside. I don't know how long it would have gone on if Mr. Miller hadn't come out. The guy had stopped him over a parole violation. Brian Miller's records show a history of drug possession and driving while intoxicated. But his lawyer says this was excessive. Brian wants to be sure that the Texas City Police Department does not unjustly kill someone or seriously injure them like they did to him. The Texas City Police Department issued this statement. Officer Drake's conduct was reviewed and he was subject to discipline, which is under appeal. The Texas City Police Department also referred this incident to the Galveston County District Attorney's Office of Public Integrity, which declined charges after reviewing all of the facts and circumstances. Now, I spoke with Officer Drix. We reached out to both officers. Officer Drix tells me he has his side to this story. He is speaking with his lawyer and will keep us updated when he is able to share. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.